All right, gang, I do have a Monday editorial for you. And uh, there was one that I'm not doing a, a story on. It was out of Flint, Michigan. There was the fatal shooting of a security guard there at a dollar store. Their theory is it was an argument over the wearing of a face covering or a face mask. And something happened and the guard got shot and it was fatal. They're looking for the suspects, but they haven't really confirmed that it was over a face covering. That's just their theory that they were arguing over a face mask. But if that be true, that's what we've come to. That's where we've come. People are pissed off. They're being told what they have to do. Have to wear a face mask. Have to stay home. Close your business. You're non-essential. You know, people are pissed off. Cabin fever. They're done with it. They're like, you know what? Fuck this. We're, we're, they're striking back, if that be true. So I didn't do the editorial on that one because they're still hashing it out. It's not really confirmed that that's what the shooting was over. But if that be true, people are pissed off. The editorial I'm doing for you this morning is, what do you get when you take three Los Angeles law enforcement officers and send them on a camping trip together? You get an incident with three gun-toting machismos with anger management issues. And that's exactly what you got here in our editorial today coming out of usa today thank you usa today an off-duty los angeles police officer has been charged with attempted murder after he allegedly shot a fellow officer while on a camping trip the los angeles police department said in a statement the san bernardino sheriff's department responded to reports of a shooting just after 1 a.m what were they, why weren't they asleep sunday and found a man who had been shot along with two uninjured men LAPD officials said all three are department employees, two off-duty officers, and one off-duty supervisor. Officer Ishmael Tameo, 44, was arrested after investigators with the Sheriff's Department determined he shot the victim, who is expected to survive in the upper body, the department said in a statement. He is being held on $1 million bail. Now, the shooting took place in an unincorporated area of Apple Valley, California, about 90 miles northeast of Los Angeles in San Bernardino County. Let me say that three times. Tomeo was taken into custody without incident, officials said. Investigators are still working to determine a motive behind the shooting, the San Bernardino Sheriff's Department said in a statement. The department said the three men had been camping in the area and shooting guns over the weekend. Tomeo has been relieved of his police powers pending the outcome of a criminal and administrative investigation, according to the police. LAPD Chief Michael Moore said in a statement, the events overnight culminating in the serious injury to our off-duty officer, apparently at the hands of another member of this department, gives me great concern. I spoke earlier this morning with San Bernardino Sheriff John McMahon, pledging our full support of their criminal investigation. He added, I am thankful our injured officer is in stable condition and expected to survive. I am committed to determining what and how this occurred. <clears throat> now, my question is, and this might sound cynical, I'm not trying to knock Police Chief Michael Moore, but would he be as committed and determined were this drug, you know, um, Joe drug citizen or Mary drug citizen in Los Angeles? You know, somebody that the police shot because, well, it would it be justified and say, well, you know, is so in this incident, what incident? In this instance, what I'm asking is when he says, I am committed to determining what and how this occurred, he's very concerned with this event. Is it because it involved police officers and not police officers and Joe Druggy or Mary Druggy or whoever got, gets shot by a police officer? Um, of course, that's an opinion question. I want your opinions on that. Would Is this being treated the same as a... You know, criminal police shooting investigation or what am I trying to say? Basically, you have LAPD shooting a citizen, LAPD shooting another LAPD. Are they being treated the same or are, is this incident here where two cops were involved? Is it being treated different because it was two cops involved and not a cop shooting a human being? This guy is what I'm asking. I don't know. I want to hear what you guys got to say on that. Um, now that I wait, I was, that was like walking through tar right there.
But what I really want to bring out here, and I'm going to close this editorial and get your opinions in the comment section below. I will put a link to this story in the description box below as well. But what I want to get your opinions on is, or what I want to bring out here, psychologists and psychiatrists are trained in talking to people about their issues and helping people that have issues talking through it. Uh, surgeons are trained in cutting into the human body and hopefully making it better so that people can heal and feel better. Okay. Um, you know, athletes are trained in whatever sport they're trained in, but you know what police officers, it seems like what law enforcement officers are trained in use of force. They're trained in the use of force. It doesn't seem like law enforcement. I mean, there's a few Sergeant Ahmed of the San Bernardino Sheriff's, uh, San Bernardino police department. I'll just mention him. Hopefully it's not awkward to him, but he really was, is trained. I believe in de-escalation. He was very, uh, he, we had a great conversation when I did a first amendment audit over the weekend. Uh, he was very polite. You can tell he's a really people person officer, but outside of that, the majority of law enforcement officers, it seems like are trained in the use of force, hands on gun drawn, baton swing, you know, pepper spray, tase, uh, instead of just talking to the person, Houston, Texas, we've seen a guy shot on his knees. Uh, chief tried to say, well, he was charging our officers. And then when you see the video, no, he threw something at them from his knees. And as soon as he threw it, they all just shot him dead instead of going, hold on, back up. How much more stuff can he throw? Let's get behind the cars. Let's take cover. Let's talk to this guy. No, they just shot him. Um, and it seems like that's where a lot of law enforcement is heading now is towards uh, the use of force. When I went to the police academy in Texas, they taught verbal judo. When I went to police academy here in California for PC 832 powers of arrest, this sergeant from the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department came in and he taught us verbal judo. He was very funny and he would say, I'm here to talk to you today about verbal judo and help you to de-escalate through judo. Hey, yeah. You know, and he was very funny. And but he talked about how to verbally speak to someone to bring them down, to let them know I'm listening to you and hopefully uh, effect an arrest or citation or whatever you're trying to do without having to go hands on or use force. It doesn't seem like they teach that too much anymore. Verbal judo is gone instead of, hey, I need to look over there where you're standing. That's a crime scene. If I could have instead of that, now it's more get back. Hey, you go back to the corner right now or I'm going to arrest you and running up and putting their flashlight in your face and getting ready to grab a hold of you and all because you're not doing what they said to do right now, right here. Instead of explaining why you need, hey, could I have you back up? I'm, we're going to be searching that area right where you're standing. I don't want you kicking anything. Instead of explaining to people what they need, officers are more now about, hey, you, you back up and do what I say or I'm going to arrest your ass for impeding my investigation. You know, it's all about being an asshole now instead of being, you know, verbal judo is pretty much gone. Now it's verbal. I'm going to kick your ass and put you in handcuffs. I want to know if you guys agree with that, what you feel about that in the comment section below. Community Leo Watch watching Leos. That's law enforcement officers from coast to coast. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to drink my coffee now and enjoy the day. How about you? Thank you very much.